Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm so excited that you're here today. I think today's video is going to be a really, really good one. It is a belt do's and don'ts for a round body type. So I get a lot of comments from you guys both here and on Instagram about belts and wearing belts with a round body type and the reluctance to wear a belt because you have a round body type. I thought that it would be a good idea to sit down and have a chat with you about that so that I can help you to understand how you can wear belts as a round body type. What I mean by round body type is women whose waist measurement is the biggest of all of their measurements or they have a belly that you know protrudes out. And I'm not talking about a tiny little pooch, I'm talking about like a belly. I would encourage you to measure yourself so that that way you can determine if you truly are a round body type. You know that you're truly a round body type if your middle measurement out of your bust, your waist, and your hips, that waist measurement is the largest of all three. There's that misconception that you cannot wear a belt with a round body type and that round body type should wear loose and flowy clothing because it's in harmony with your body type. It's just, it helps to emphasize the roundness. Yes, it does help emphasize emphasize the roundness, but from my perspective, not in the most flattering way. I 100% disagree with round body types should not wear belts and that they should only wear loose and flowy clothing. There is something to be said for being in harmony with your body type. However, I still feel that wearing loose and flowy clothing makes you look bigger than you actually are. When it comes to helping you to look taller and slimmer, a belt is a must because it helps to define your body shape. It helps to give you some structure, defines your waist, makes you look slimmer, emphasizes the smaller parts of your body, and it can help with proportion to help you to look taller. And so I am all about wearing belts. You see me wearing belts constantly. So you know that I don't follow that particular rule. You know, I tend to go outside of that rule and do what makes me feel the most confident. And really at the end of the day, that's what's most important. It's what makes you feel beautiful. What makes you feel confident. By the way, my name is Aralia and the content that I provide here is all around style and fashion for the plus size woman, more specifically the petite plus size woman. In addition to style and fashion tips. I do product reviews, try on hauls. I also have a vlog channel. It is called The Lion and the Fish. I will be sure to have that linked in the, descri in the description bar down below if you enjoy watching lifestyle vlogs. I post three times a week on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, so make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the content here on this channel. All right, let's get back to the video. There are two keys to successfully wearing a belt as a round body type, in my opinion. The first one being placement. When people think about wearing belts, they think about wearing a belt like right, you know, at their waist. And that actually for a round body type is the wrong placement. You're placing the belt on the widest point of your body and only emphasizing that girth that you have in the middle of you. What I mean by placement is actually putting the belt on above the widest part of your waist. When you watch me wearing belts, I'm never wearing them right in the middle of my body. I always have them up a little bit and that's because I'm putting it right in that space space between the bottom of my of my chest, you know, the bottom of my boobs down to my waistline. So somewhere in there is where you should place your belt. And generally, just depending on what I'm wearing, sometimes it'll go a little higher, sometimes it'll go a little lower. For a round body type, right under the chest is the smallest part of the body. And so that's what's gonna give you that illusion of waistline, of slender, and of height, because it's gonna force the eye to come up a little bit, it's gonna make your legs look a lot longer. There is one caveat that I have to throw out there for wearing a belt as a round body type. And that is, is if you happen to have a short waist, if you're short waisted or you have a, sh a shorter torso. Shorter torsoed women with a round belly will have a little bit harder time finding a belt placement. You're already short waisted and putting a belt on is only cut, gonna cut your torso down even further. You could possibly wear a belt, you know, like just right above the widest point of your belly. That will help to elongate your waistline some, but you still run the risk of looking a little bit truncated. Just keep that in mind. Now, as a personal stylist, I am never ever 
ever going to tell anyone that they cannot wear something. Don't feel that you have to wear a belt. You absolutely don't have to wear a belt to look streamlined and thinner. What's most important when it comes to personal style is feeling confident and beautiful in what you are wearing. If what you're wearing makes you feel confident and beautiful, then that trumps all. You know, that trumps any rule, guideline, or whatever. Don't wear a belt, wear a belt. Whatever makes you feel confident and beautiful is what matters the most. So the second key is scale. Talking to you petites out there, when it comes to being petite, the general rule of thumb is don't wear anything that is too big because it's gonna be too big of a scale for your petite body. When you're a petite plus, that does not apply. The reason being, again, is around scale there is more of you to see visually. And so a larger scale actually works for you rather than against you. If you were to follow the rule and wear something that is scaled down, like for instance, if you wear like a skinny belt, that skinny belt is actually going to make you look larger because it's gonna kind of get lost on you and it's gonna emphasize your size versus work in harmony with your size. As far as the types of belts that I like wearing, well, if you're regular viewers, you guys see me wearing my OB belts day in, day out. I love those belts. They are probably some of the most comfortable belts that I own. Um, and they're really visually quite stunning. I really love the fact that it wraps around and ties in the front. It just gives it a little bit something. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I am getting a little bit bored with my OB belt, so I have ordered a different kind of belt from Amazon. It's kind of like an Isabel Morant dupe. So I will be styling those for you here as soon as I get them. OB belts are great though, don't get me wrong. They're really, really wonderful. I'm just getting a little bored with mine because I wear them all the time. Another belt that is a really, really great belt that I picked up from Walmart, it's a scoop belt and it has a really beautiful buckle on it. And it is about, I think it's maybe an inch and a half uh, wide, maybe possibly two inches. I really, really love that belt. I think that belt is a great scale. So I would say if you're thinking about, okay, well, what width belt should I get? You really want to go with something over an inch. I would say probably about an inch and a half on up. I will have all of my favorite belts, including the ones that I'm getting in from Amazon, plus some of the ones that I'm eyeing up on Amazon. I will have everything linked in the description bar down below, belts that I think are a good option for plus size and petite plus size women. It's just a couple of really basic rules of thumb that you should consider when you want to wear a belt as a round body type. It's not rocket science, you know, it just takes some getting used to if you're kind of nervous about the idea. Get yourself an inexpensive belt, wear it around the house, get used to the idea of wearing the belt, and um, yeah, let me know how it goes in the comments down below. If I didn't cover any kind of points around this, if you guys have any other questions about wearing belts with a round body type, then leave them in the comments down below. I am going to start covering off more on body type as we move along. I feel that I've been a little bit negligent there, so I'll be talking about that more. So leave me any other questions that you might have because that could feasibly make it into a video. If you found this video useful or helpful in any way, first of all, give it a big thumbs up because that really helps my channel out. It tells YouTube that this video is very likable and it will push it out to so that we can get more eyeballs on what I am doing here or you can just share it with your friends. If there's anyone out there who needs some style help, share my channel because that's what I'm here for. If you've not subscribed, then what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my content here on this channel. Thank you as always for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.